Hey there, welcome to TechSpot DE. Um, we're just going to do a, a quick introduction to NFS shares, um, sh essentially sharing folders between Linux or Linux Ubuntu machines. Um, this assumes that you're using versions uh, 11.10 onwards, um, although this probably works uh, in previous versions as well. Um, so let's go right ahead and first uh, set up a basic share from um, our Linux machine. This can be performed in Linux server and desktop uh, alike so it's up to you which one you want to use. Okay so first of all we need to install uh, the NFS server um, we can do that just by issuing this command sudo apt-get minus y minus y is to say yes to install um, and it's NFS kernel, you hit the tab key and it'll uh, pick it up straight away. And this will just go right ahead and install the NFS um, sharing server. It runs as a daemon by the way, so uh, it's always running. Okay, um, we want to just double check what directory we're in. We know that, it's a print working directory and we're in our own folder. So let's make a folder that we want to share we'll just call it share for the moment um, if I list that now you see that uh, share does exist here okay great so that's our our main folder that we want to share so let's go into that directory and just create a uh, a basic file And there we go, my shared file.txt uh, or text is uh, the file I want to share out. You can place anything you wish in this folder or call the folder whatever you wish. It doesn't have to be share. This is just an example. Okay, so we've done that now. Um, what we need to do now, I want to, because this network is safe, I want to uh, make this folder rewritable by all, or the contents of it rewritable and, uh, by all so we do that by um, we just do chmod actually chmod minus r because it's recursive 7 share as you can see now share is green because it's rewritable and it's uh, all the uh, elements are filled in there with uh, rewrite execute for everybody ok so we've done that um, now we need to declare it in our exports file. Um, so we do go sudo nano oops exports. This is where you declare shared file folders by the way. Um, so other machines know they exist. And to do that we need to just basically put in the uh, location of the folder that we've just made. As you remember I used um, print working directory to show me where that folder was or directory was. Um, this is the IP address that I'm using. Um, this could be a fully qualified domain name or IP address, it makes no difference. Um, and it's 24-bit uh, class netmask uh, because it's uh, because my netmask is 24-bit, <laughs> sorry. Okay so we need to uh, put in between these brackets here the permissions we're going to give it rewrite uh, that can be by the way read only so it's up to you if it, it, whatever permissions you decide we want to sync the folder and we don't want it to check for subfolders check so there's no subtree check um, and there we go so that's the exports file that's all complete now um, in all intents and purposes, um, that's actually completed. We've completed the process of um, creating our share on our server side. Um, let's just restart the daemon, by the way, so uh, it knows that folder exists as a share. So, a uh, sudo service nfs kernel restart. 
Okay, there we go. So that's all done. So now we need to flick to our uh, client machine or the machine we want to share things to. And we need to install the components, the NFS common components in this. So sudo apt get minus y install NFS common. I don't normally type all the uh, the words out in full. I hit the tab key for, for those who uh, I think I just type them all out. So there we go. Um, that's installed. Um, okay. So now what we need to do? We need to um, create a, a shared folder on this side. We're going to create it in our uh, username folder, user folder again in Teach. So we just do make dir make directory share. Let's just call it share. Uh, as you can see, there it is in blue share. That means it's got no rewrite permissions on it at the moment. Um, in this uh, this tutorial, by the way, all I'm going to do is show you the way to do it, set it up as a permanent share in FS tab. So what we need to do is sudo nano. It's in the etc folder FS tab. I've already set one up, by the way, here, because uh, I um, I made a trial earlier just to make sure everything was fine. And what we've done is we've entered the um, the IP address of the machine the share is coming from, the directory location, as you can see, the directory location where we want the share to be on your client machine. Uh, read size 8192 default timeout 14 and the intra so that's all done don't touch any of this at the top unless you really know what you're doing because these are your actual hard disks that are mounted here in the swap file of course so that's all done I'm happy with that uh, just control X that okay so in order to um, make sure that the share is mounted it will do this every time you boot your machine automatically so it will mount it automatically now from the FS tab um, declaration so we need to do sudo mount minus a and as you can see the shared folder has just appeared there or the mounted uh, drive this is similar to um, network mapping in Windows it's just better because it's Linux. <laughs> That's my own personal view. Okay, so if we um, hit LS on this the list, do you see it's turned green now because it's um, assumed the permissions given by the um, the server that we made the share on. Um, and if we uh, change directory and go into that shared folder, as you can see, the file my shared file .txt is there. Um, I've only used um, the uh, rewrite permissions as triple seven as an example. Okay, um, you would be advised to set those permissions accordingly to your environments. So please do not necessarily use triple seven or re rewrite execute for every file that's inside your shared folder it's not great practice um, this is just purely for demonstration only and I certainly wouldn't have um, a document as a, a read write execute for every but for the whole world um, for that matter so there you go that was just a quick introduction to NFS shares very simple um, and I'll probably go on to uh, doing some window shares using Samba uh, on my next tutorial so thank you for watching if you've got any comments please make them uh, at the bottom of this video or visit techspotde.com the website and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye Thank <laughs> you.